Sisters wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Has a very quiet twig. He's got superhuman hearing. Well, hey guys, it's there. Josh. Playing another game of Thrones Telltale Hear Games that? episode. I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Just heading from Ramsey Snow. Bastard. All right. Well, hey. Uh, so last episode. Played a bit as Ethan and Mira, Ethan being the new lord of House Forrester, Mira being, I feel like this guy's still alive, Mira being Marjorie's handmaiden in King's Landing. Now we're back to Garrod, who's on his way to the wall. Bloody hell! I figured he was still alive, but I guess I was wrong. And we're back to <laughs> Iron Wrath. Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. Fat lot of good that did him. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Summon the Lord! Him. We need his judgment. He's I've done nothing sentinel. wrong! I was only trying to survive! <laughs> Lord Ethan. Missed. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! 
fucking know it! <sighs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Roiland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Stop hitting him. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. You'll stop hitting him. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Hmm. Sir Roiland was right. If I do show him mercy, then other men will think that they can take what they believe to be theirs by right. I don't want to send him to the wall because that's fucking horrible. Don't want to take three fingers. I'm gonna show him mercy. I want to be Sir Ethan, the enlightened, Lord Ethan, the enlightened. Yeah. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal, a brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester, and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you, and to this house. Nobody get any ideas. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone... You can trust by your side. My sister. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who Maybe do not. you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. He really wants it. He does too. 
my gut says go with the uncle of Sir Garrod. That guy, Duncan. But I also am a little worried that he's just going to tell me what I want to hear, since we tend to agree on things. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Has anything gone missing? No, doesn't look that way. Seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. I won't resort to taking from the small folk. It's hard enough to be a bigger house like ours. Much harder on them. Swords up! You can lift them, yeah? Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Just study that at the Citadel till you jackass. Slash right! That means now! All that the light touches is my kingdom. Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? Let me go talk to people I trust. They can help me make the decision. My sister not have an opinion. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord. I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold her, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold... Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. 
And I trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. We're surrounded by enemies on all sides. How long can we survive if we're Mother in combat me. mode? Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart and everyone trusts his judgment. Except Sir Roiland. Is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Come on, come on, what did I say? Swords off, slash right, parry, again. Now, when I say parry, get that sword out. runes carved into the sword. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? You honour Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. Yeah. I like Someday this kid. I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. No, he's not our enemy, but he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Calm yourself, child. You're getting out of hand. Alright, let's talk to these guys. Hear their case for why they should be a sentinel. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I 
Actually, I wanted to ask. Why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage. And I regret any action you disapprove of. You had your reasons, but nonetheless. You undermined my authority. I can't have that happen again. It won't, my lord. You have my word. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Mm, one more question. Oh, don't give it to him. Do it like you mean it. I want to talk to him more, but I guess I don't get to. So let's talk to Royland and hear what he has to say. Sword up! Swing left! Barry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs Royland. could hold swords. Good word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Mm -hmm. Yes, my lord? What's your opinion on the sentinel thing? I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud, seeing you make good choices as a young lord. I haven't made my decision yet, but I appreciate your opinion. So, when will you declare your decision? My lord. Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I really want to like that guy. Because I feel like he is a strong military leader and I don't want him as an enemy. But I feel like if I do give it to him, then he will undermine me. Even though he promised he would never do that like this guy did. I feel like he would in any case where someone needs punishment. I feel like he would just stole out the punishment without asking my permission. Which granted he would have that right being sentinel, but I I don't know. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? I'm still thinking about it, but let's go ahead and say yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Maybe something will come up at the small council that will help make my decision easier. I like Duncan for it, but I feel like he's just going to do whatever I say and won't challenge me and won't help me grow as a character. And Sir Royland I don't like, which is why I'm kind of against giving him the position. Hear what they have to say. Also, is my mother here? You may sit. I want to tell her. I believe good. Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. I can't choose my mother. Hmm. 
Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. We need the small folk to I know... I will not disappoint you, my lord. ...that we can support them. And as a pig farmer, or from now, a pig farmer family... Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Let Sir Roiland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say, Sir Roiland. No, no. You chose your Sentinel. He should speak on this. Sir Roiland is dick. clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. I agree with Roiland on this, Thank actually. Thank Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Hmm. I don't think the Boltons, who are aligned with the phrase that committed the Red Wedding, will be much for diplomacy. I don't think they'll be interested in talking things out, especially not Ramsay, what I know of his character. Um, bargaining is a good idea, giving them ironwood to keep them off our backs, but just like my character said to the maester earlier, he'll only come back for more. So I think our only option is to fight. I know I can still count on Sir Roiland as master at arms. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. You Ethan don't know has the made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you. As we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Lord Ethan? Hmm. If I invite him into the Great Hall, we can try to pull a Red Wedding of our own and turn on him while he's inside these walls. Having less men, that wouldn't be a bad idea because we'd be in a confined space where we can't be surrounded. However, if I meet him at the gates, like you said, he may be intimidated because Ironrath is a very intimidating looking place, but he also may have time to think about it and set the ironwood on fire. I don't think he really cares about how important of a resource it is. So I think we're going to meet him in the Great Hall. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? 
I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I still want to fight you guys. I hope you understand that by inviting him in, we're not doing diplomacy. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. Yeah, bye. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Yeah, you've already attempted Malcolm something. Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. God, make a lot of decisions this episode. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Okay, so let's weigh these pros and cons. Send Malcolm to, Eka, to Essos. He'll bring back Asher. Asher would be a great ally. A strong, mad fighter. Just like Roos. But at the same time, he's just like Roos. He's insane. I assume he's cruel. I don't know if I can trust him. I know I can trust him not to hurt me, but I don't know if I can trust him not to put us at risk by doing things that he does. If we keep Malcolm here, I lose the opinion that my mother has for me, and Asher won't come, which means I won't be protected as easily, or as well, but I also don't have to deal with the madman. Unfortunately, I think it's a risk I have to take in this one. Unlike with Tyrion and Mira, where I didn't think it was worth risking my family, I think this is a risk I have to take to protect my family. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. He will not take my position as Lord of the House, though. Thank you, Ethan. I hope I'm he glad you that. will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet.